Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be taking this 2022 Nissan Murano on a POV test drive. This one is the SV trim. There is five trims to choose from. There is the S, SV, Midnight, SL, and Platinum. And the price on this one with destination is 39,000. And uh, this one is finished in magnetic black. But let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does. Alright, so here is the interior of this 2022 Nissan Murano. As I said, this one is the SV trim, and this is one trim above the S, and this is the popular trim that a lot of people are going to go for. So um, let's go ahead and take it on e-test drive and see how it does. Before we do that, I want to go ahead and show you the backup camera. Backup camera resolution is okay, very dim, and I really wish that I could adjust the brightness, but that's the max. Um, it goes. But let's go ahead and take this SV trim on a drive and see how it does. So driving this 2022 Nissan Murano SV drives nice and smooth and this 3.5 V6 seriously sounds amazing and uh, yeah this thing is super smooth and um, yeah overall the cabin is nice and quiet I really wish that for almost 40,000, the steering wheel was wrapped in leather, but it is finished in that synthetic rubber material and uh, the steering wheel itself, it's very, very thin. This thing drives good. It does feel a little bit on the bigger side, but honestly, I think it's something that is very easy to get used to. The interior looks okay, definitely dated. I know that Nissan will be changing it, I think, next year. And uh, there is some brushed aluminum and some gloss black around the screen and the climate controls. There is this nice trim on this middle console. And uh, yeah, the interior is nice, but definitely feels dated. Um, air vents look good. I really like the brushed aluminum around them. Let's go ahead and put this SUV in sport mode. I'm not sure if it actually has sport mode or not. I'm not sure if it does have a sport mode. <laughs> it is nice and responsive and this 3.5 V6 is seriously amazing. Yeah, I'm not sure if this Nissan Murano has a sport mode, but honestly, I don't think it needs it. This thing is nice and responsive. And uh, this 3.5 V6 seriously sounds amazing. And no complaints with this CVT transmission. I think the CVT transmission is well put together and Nissan, I think, been doing a great job with their CVTs. A little bit of wind noise on the highway, going almost 80 miles per hour. But yeah, seriously guys, I'm very impressed with this 3.5 V6. It does produce 260 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. As I said, nice and responsive and um, yeah, very impressed with this V6. And even with this CVT transmission, it does have plus and minus, so you could actually downshift and upshift. 
yeah the manual mode is very responsive and seeing out of this SUV is very good the mirrors are nice and big and this Murano has blind spot monitoring system lean keeping assist adaptive cruise control I'll go ahead and try the safety features when I have on the other side of the highway but this thing drives amazing and the suspension setup is very good and even taking this thing around corners it feels confident there is not a lot of body lean I actually did not feel any body lean very very good there is a 7 inch cluster display between the gauges and uh, there's an 8 inch screen it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto some hard binds on the left and right and uh, yeah overall this thing drives good very smooth ride and the suspension is very comfortable and something I want to mention is the headlights and taillights on this Murano every thing in the headlight and taillight housing is LED so good job Nissan for making everything LED for almost 40,000 steering wheel is nice and light as I said I really wish it was wrapped in leather and uh, yeah overall very very good um, SUV drives amazing and uh, the seats are extremely comfortable they are wrapped in leather and yeah they're super comfortable so I really like about this uh, Murano this right here is nice and soft so this is not finished in plastic and um, up here there's some LED lights visor is very soft has a nice thickness to it there is a good size mirror with a halogen light and uh, the steering wheel there's a good amount of binds on the right is the safety features the cruise controls and on the left is a few controls to control that screen in the middle and the volume controls and uh, yeah very comfortable and uh, this 3.5 seriously sounds good and it is nice and responsive and I really like it and uh, this V6 honestly sounds like it's off doesn't feel like it's on very quiet and uh, the exhaust setup on this 3.5 is good where the engine itself overall is very very good so very impressed with this uh, 3.5 in this Murano overall but definitely showing its age from the outside and inside and um, yeah I just really love those seats they're very very comfortable I really like the CVT transmission. I'm, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this CVT transmission is well put together. And uh, nowadays, Nissan have been doing a great job with their CVTs. Seating position is very good and uh, seeing out of this SUV is easy and uh, yeah overall you feel like you're sitting high and uh, visibility is just perfect in this Murano. Let's go ahead and try the safety features. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on cruise controls. This is the lean keeping assist. It, it was actually off this whole time but I did turn it on and uh, Let's go ahead and activate that depth cruise control. The only thing that this Murano is missing is steering assist. So basically you have to do the steering, but for uh, the other things, um, they're basically there. Uh, you'll have the link keeping assist, blind spot monitoring system, emergency braking, depth cruise control. And yeah, the only thing that is missing is the steering assist. And I really wish that Nissan added steering assist on this SV trim. 
for almost 40,000. I think they shut off. I tried Nissan, safety features, their link keeping assist, adaptive cruise control, steering assist, very good system, nice and good overall. It's not jerky, it's very smooth, so I really like that. As you guys see, when you turn on the turn signal indicators, the light activate and it does give me a um, basically a message in that seven inch screen and it makes a sound. So overall, driving this thing, it's very, very comfortable. And um, I'm actually shocked with the way how it handled the corner when I first took it on a test drive. So the suspension setup is nice and soft but at the same time, taking it around a corner, it's nice and confident. So, of course, that's good. And yeah, overall, seating position is good. The seats are nice and comfortable. But does it really worth, is it really worth the 40,000? I honestly don't think it feels and looks 40,000. I'm glad that Nissan made all the headlights and tail lights LED. But yeah, definitely doesn't feel like a $40,000 SUV and I can't wait to see the redesigned um, Nissan Murano Nissan been doing great job with their design and uh, engines and CVTs they're kind of going away from their CVTs the new Nissan Z has the 9-speed automatic transmission the Frontier has the 9-speed automatic transmission so I'm glad that they're going away from see from their CVTs but still their CVTs are actually not bad they definitely made some changes to their CVTs and uh, by the way guys the brakes feel nice and confident and the brake pedal itself it's nice and touchy we're gonna go ahead and do an acceleration right here So you could get the Murano in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. This one is the SV with the all wheel drive. And um, I can't imagine what's the price on the Platinum trim. The Platinum trim is the highest trim. So there is the S, SV, Midnight, SL, and Platinum. But yeah, guys, very comfortable, very smooth. I like the engine, I really like the CVT, and the CVT, I honestly don't mind it at all. Engine start stop is in the bottom, one USB-C, one USB, one aux, and a 12 volt, two cup holders, nice storage place. And uh, something that I forgot to mention is the MPG numbers on this Murano. The MPG numbers are 20 in the city, 28 highway, and 23 combined. And uh, yeah, I think the MPG numbers are not too bad. But, not gonna lie, very impressed with this Nissan Murano SV. I hope you guys enjoyed this POV test drive of this 2022 Nissan Murano. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see JC here at Napoli Nissan in Milford. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.